What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I got another trip to the thrift for you guys. So hopefully I find some dope stuff to sell on eBay and on Poshmark and right now even though sales are kind of slow on every platform I'm still hitting these Goodwills and I'm still hitting these thrifts because you really never know what you're going to find that could turn your whole week and your whole month around. So definitely stay consistent even though sales are slow and without further ado let's get into it. Alright y'all, so I came across a very interesting piece as soon as I walked in. This is a hoodie from the brand The Hundreds. And The Hundreds is an OG streetwear brand. And I used to rock this when I was in high school. But the downside to The Hundreds brand, even though this was my size, very, very nostalgic. But it just doesn't have a very high resale value. So it's definitely uh, not something that I would suggest everybody pick up. Unless it's for the personal collection. Next, I came across this bootleg Tommy Hilfiger polo shirt. Bruh. And I usually don't even like record this type of stuff, but I just wanted to show you guys what a bootleg Tommy tag looks like. Some people would stay to still sell these stuff because people look for it, but I don't take the risk on it. Next was this Everlane polo. And Everlane is kind of like a H&M brand. It's not high end, but I did sell one of their jackets for like 50 bucks. So I just wanted to show y'all that. But this is a Foot Joy polo. No stranger to me uh, picking these up. Anytime I come across these, especially now, I'm always grabbing them up. And they don't sell for a ton of money. But since this one did have a little logo on the side, um, I'm definitely going to grab that one. Next is this Wrangler denim shirt. And these Wrangler shirts don't usually have a huge resale value either. But anytime I come across one that has any type of emblems on it, uh, and just this type of color, just this chambray color, usually has a better selling value. Sometimes like 30, sometimes 40 bucks. So I'm definitely going to scoop this one up. Next is this Carolina Panthers uh, Davis jersey. These jerseys don't sell for much money at all. Maybe 15, maybe 20 bucks. But it's a jersey and I like selling jerseys. So honestly, I'm probably just going to scoop this one up. Um, I think it, these should only be about 250 So if I have to pay more than 250 I'm not going to get it. Now, as you guys can see, I'm just kind of pushing through the stuff, hoping a tag pops out and gets my attention. And I come across this Bape t-shirt. Now, I'm showing you guys some close details because I'm not like a, a Bape like expert by any means. So I'm going to show you guys some of the close-ups of the tags. And if you guys are any like Bape connoisseurs, you can let me know if this one is legit. If I had to guess and bet any money, I would probably say that it's not legit. Only because the odds of me finding real Bape in my thrift kind of slim. But I think, I mean, who knows? I'm not really sure whatsoever. Uh, chances are I'm probably going to hold on to this just because it's the fit, the first Bape t-shirt I ever found. But if I had to guess, I would think this is like a try-on shirt because it's very, very simple, very basic. But if worse come to worse, I'll just be the guy rocking a Bape tee to the gym. Next, they had a bunch of cowboy boots in here. And these were in pretty good condition. But as you guys can see, when it came to the prices, they were just tripping. And honestly, I'm not the biggest cowboy boot connoisseur. I'm not familiar with a ton of brands. Uh, one of the few brands that I do know is Lucchese. And this was actually a pair of Lucchese boots. And they were just asking way too much money for me. That's why I didn't pull the trigger on these boots. As you guys can see, they were asking about $70 for these boots. And that's just a little too much risk for me. But I have sold some Lucchese boots for as much as 200 bucks in the past. But these just wasn't the ones that were calling out to me. So I, I had to pass on those. These also look pretty good, but I couldn't find a name on these anywhere. But um, sometimes snakeskin boots, they do sell for a ton of profit. Because I did sell a pair of snakeskin boots for like 90 bucks on Poshmark once. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we are back in the crib for a full recap. And as you guys seen, I didn't pick up a ton of stuff from the Goodwill, but sometimes I hit big and sometimes it's pretty average like days like today where I didn't get a ton of stuff. But I did find some pretty unique items that should sell for a decent amount of profit. So I'll tell you how much I paid and how much I think it'll sell for on eBay and on Poshmark. So let's just jump right into it. Next up is this Steven Davis jersey. And this one was in really good condition. No cracking on the numbers or the letters or anything like that. But Steven Davis wasn't really popular when he played for the Panthers. So I'm thinking I'll probably get maybe 20 to 25 bucks again for this one. And this one I picked up for 250 So we'll see how much this one sells for. It might take a lot longer to sell since this one isn't a really popular jersey. And football season isn't around. But like I said, for 250 it was worth the risk. Next up is this Wrangler Pearl Snap shirt. And this one was in really good condition 
collection once again and it did have the two uh, guns embroidered on the chest so I figured that was dope and I've been seeing these Wrangler shirts sell for about 30 some as high as even 40 bucks depending on what it has on the shirt so I'll probably price mine somewhere in the middle and I'll put this up on eBay and on Poshmark as well and see where it sells first but like I said these chambray Wrangler shirts are usually selling really really good for me I, I sold maybe four or five like Western inspired shirts over the past couple of months so that's the only reason why I'm still picking these up so if you guys come across Wrangler shirts as long as it has something unique about it pick it up but the more simple plaid ones I'm usually still passing on those next up is this solid black babe t-shirt and from the small amount of research that I did do I would assume that it is real only because it does have the gold babe stamp on the bottom but of course they these fakes are really really good nowadays so you can never really be too sure but any of you guys that are babe connoisseurs out there drop a comment let me know your thoughts and your opinions uh, and I'll probably hold on to this only because this is my first bait find and it's a size XL so it would really probably wouldn't even fit me but I'll just hold on to it for a little while because I don't want to just throw this up on eBay and if it is fake I get flagged so I'll probably hold on to this like I said if you guys are really into bait and you know more information definitely shoot me a comment or even shoot me an email let me know if this one is legit and last but not least is a pair of Nike Air Force Ones and these are actually brand new um, it actually still has like the foot trees on the inside but the thing is these were actually in the case so I wasn't able to get too much footage I just grabbed one shoe and I just tried to hold on to it while I was in line to cash out but these were only 20 bucks so this was a really good find especially since it is brand new without the box and I just sold a pair of Air Force Ones for women for about 40 no I think they were sold for 49 bucks on Poshmark but I did like the shoe I thought it was dope and I've been seeing them sell on Poshmark even higher for like 79 to 90 bucks so I'm probably gonna put these on Poshmark first and see how long it takes to sell but if I had to guess I would think this is more like a fall colorway so it might take a lot longer to sell but at the end of the day like I said 20 bucks if it's worth if it flips for $79 I'll be happy with that alright y'all that's all I have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel check out my patreon page because I'll be uploading some content on there over this weekend and I'll see you guys in the next one peace